Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, you guys know we live here in Southern California, and many of you have been asking us for a while now, what's our thoughts about this California drought? Are we totally screwed here or not? So let me weigh in on this very complicated situation. I know some of you have seen these really like horrifying stories about almonds. Almonds are the major culprit. If we were to not grow almonds, we'd have plenty of water because they're sucking us dry of water here. And there's been a few articles too about maybe it has something to do with all the alfalfa and hay and grains um, grown to, to raise animals for meat and dairy products. Well, just a couple weeks ago, our governor issued a mandate for municipalities to reduce water consumption by 25% of what we were using last year. So he's calling on us, the, the people, the residents and businesses here to really cut back, take shorter showers, rip out our lawns, maybe not flush all the time. And we've been doing stuff like that for years here because we know we live in a desert. But the big question is, will that really make a dent in the overall water? water scheme here of California. Do, does our residential usage really take up that much water or is there a, a bigger culprit? As you see here, just a little tiny sliver of California's water makes it to the end users like me here in my house. Most of it goes to agriculture. 46% of our water goes to raise food for humans to eat. And another 47% goes to agriculture, not for human consumption though. It's to raise animals for meat and dairy products. So if that's so, why are so many websites and newspapers running these stories about how almonds, they're the culprit, they use as much water as LA does in three years, says Mother Jones. Slate too blames it on the almonds. And you'd think maybe the BBC would get it right too, but no, how almonds are sucking California dry. Yeah, I read all three of those articles and they really have it out for the almonds. I don't know if it's sloppy reporting or what, because they all conveniently fail to mention what the real problem is with the California drought. All it takes is a little tiny bit of research to see what all our water is going to, and it isn't the almonds. University of California at Davis released this chart and it clearly shows where our water use is going as far as agriculture is. And look at it, these yellow and orange lines here, those are the crops that are grown specifically for animals to eat. Well, where are the almonds? They're hard to find. Well, you have to really look. They're the fourth line down combined with pistachios. Barely a drop in the bucket compared to alfalfa and forages. So yeah, 50% of our entire water usage for animal agriculture, that's a heck of a lot of water, guys. Well, has it occurred to anyone that maybe we shouldn't be eating all those animals and drinking all that dairy, and instead maybe we should try to maybe think about going vegan or vegetarian? Yeah, maybe so. Some websites like Huffington Post here have articles about maybe you should go vegetarian or on vice.com, an article that actually says maybe going vegan would be an appropriate answer to help actually do something meaningful to affect the California drought situation. Wouldn't that be really weird if this drought actually forced people to wake up and realize how their actions affect the world around them? Maybe more people will go vegan and vegetarian now once they realize how much water is just wasted on animal agriculture. That would be awesome, but however, I tell you, this is a really complicated issue. I wish it were that simple. Yeah, it's a little known fact that about one third of all the animal feed grown in California is shipped overseas, primarily to Asian countries, so that they can raise their livestock for meat and dairy products. I mention this fact because say we were somehow able to go vegan here in California and reduce or eliminate our need for all this animal feed. Well, all the animal feed would still be grown by the feed growers, but they would just increase the amount of that feed exported overseas. See guys, I told you it's really, really complicated. Who knew that so much of our water was being exported overseas in the form of hay and alfalfa? I didn't know that until recently. So um, what can we do though? What's the most impactful, significant action we can take to, to reduce this drought situation? Well, 
Yeah, shorter showers, like our governor's suggesting, water our lawns less, or rip them out completely. Yeah, we should be doing that. This is a desert. This is in England. We don't need to have green lawns sucking water down all the time. Even though domestic water usage, as I showed you, was just like 6% of the, of the overall water usage here. We got to attack the big ones, all that agriculture, particularly the animal agriculture, which is by far the largest usage of California water. Go vegan. If you can't, at least go vegetarian we got to do something to reduce how much water we're wasting on foods that are just being fed to animals that we're gonna kill anyway we just be using that water and crops we're gonna eat here so um, I need your help guys post your questions and comments down below share your ideas with me I'm you know I can't figure this all out on my own I wish I were that clever um, share your thoughts I'd love to hear them and if you're new to our channel hit subscribe up here for more from Angie and I and if you got something out of this drought video, hit like. And until next time, guys, lay off all that water-intensive animal product stuff. I say keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. Like, I can't flush my toilet because you guys have to eat a hamburger with cheese on it. <laughs> Let me flush my toilet. No, seriously, we never flush our toilet until we've peed three times. It's true. <laughs> <laughs>